Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 206. We are doing audio only this week. I do apologize for that. I am unfortunately sick. On Friday at school, or I woke up fine Friday morning, but then at school on Friday, you ever get that feeling like in your throat or like in your head or something like that? We're just like, oh shoot, it's coming. I'm getting sick. I had that feeling in my throat. I could tell just by how it felt when I was swallowing. I was eating lunch. I'm like, oh no, I'm getting sick. At by Friday night, wasn't feeling the best. Woke up Saturday morning, absolutely miserable. Slept the entire day yesterday. Here we are on Sunday, still don't feel a hundred percent. So we're doing audio only this week. Do apologize about that. But we have a really, really, really interesting episode of No Prep News to discuss this week. This past weekend, September twenty second and twenty third, at Dragway forty two in West Salem, Ohio, we once again had another No Prep Kings event. And opening up on Friday night, we had the Murder Nova winning the great eight which is something that has happened just a couple of weeks ago murder nova won the great eight as well and we were talking about how the murder nova we've never seen do like phenomenal in no prep kings and it's a car it's a team it's a crew that we've been wanting to see do good we've been wanting to see have success from the very beginning because we're like it's bound to happen eventually they're bound to win an event at some point and i'll let you guys know today was so close we'll be discussing that more later on but before we get into the final couple of rounds let's dive into the first round of the invitational first of all we had huge names going out in the first round of the invitational clay cole ended up beating kai kelly robin roberts beat justin swanstrom and jim howe beat damon merchant kai kelly and damon one and two in the individual point standings both of them ended up going out first round in the invitational event and that is just i mean i feel like that's a trend we've seen so far this season the guys that are at the top they'll have like these amazing weeks then all of a sudden out of nowhere just bang there's just like an off week and they go out like first or second round and that's all you hear of them and it's moving on to the next week that was clearly a week right here for kai kelly and damon and then also too robin roberts beating swanstrom now i kind of like that matchup because it is kind of like a I feel weird saying this. I was going to, like, when I was writing my notes down for this episode, I was like, should I say that's like a vintage throwback matchup? But I'm only calling back to, like, two seasons ago with No Prep Kings. It feels like forever ago if I sit here and think back to when that stuff was actually happening. I'm talking specifically about, like, Ryan's second season that he won. Like, I'm calling back on that because I remember Ryan, uh, Kai, Lizzie, Robin Roberts, Swanstrom. Those were, like, the big names that season. Seeing those two guys, Robin Roberts and Swanstrom, go at it this race in the first round it's a cool matchup to see robin roberts ended up getting the win there beating out justin swanstrom then in the second round i only have one race i want to point out it was doc losing to kaylee mills and i feel this is the same old story for doc and i don't mean to have this sound like i'm hating on or being like disrespectful towards him in any way shape or form i'm just saying doc seems to be so unlucky in no prep kings he seems like a consistent guarantee first round win most of the time then Every single time it seems like he's in the second round just loses, 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 loses. Like Doc can't make it past the second round. He is almost a guaranteed lock it seems for the first round, but then gets to the second round and just, man, just for something just goes wrong, can't seem to catch a break. I mean, Kaylee Mills is a pretty decent name that he ended up losing to, but unfortunate for Doc to see him constantly struggle with going out in the second round like that. Moving on then to the quarterfinals, we had Jeff Lutz beating Ryan Martin. Ryan Martin and making it pretty far this week all the way to the quarterfinals. And Jeff Lutz, like I was telling you guys, hey, I told you in this final home stretch, look out for Jeff Lutz. He's one of the faster guys there is, and he ended up beating Ryan Martin there in the quarterfinals. Then we have Nate Saylor beating Kayla Morton as well in the quarterfinals. Then jumping on over to the semifinals, we have Nate Saylor beating Jeff Lutz, and then the Murder Nova beating Kaylee Mills. Now, again, like I said, Jeff Lutz, one of those guys that's just essentially a lock for going late rounds in these final couple of races we've got for the no prep king season. I mean, not surprised at all seeing him in the semifinals. Nate Saylor, not really surprised seeing him in the semifinals either as well, especially winning in the semifinals. He's a name that won a race earlier on in this season. Kaylee Mills. Now, I mean... I'm trying to think back. I don't feel like we've seen her go this far consistently in this season. So it might kind of be like a surprise name. Like, like, ugh, how should I say this? Like, when I see that name, I'm like, I'm not like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're there. But then at the same time, like, 
I don't expect them to be there. You got to get what I mean with that. So Kaylee Mills was in the semifinals, end up losing to the Murder Nova. And like I said, guys, the Murder Nova just won the Great Eight the night before. And now here he is in the finals of the Invitational with the matchup of Nate Saylor versus Murder Nova. Who do you guys think won? Was this the week? Was this finally the week the Murder Nova ended up winning. We have been following along the 187 Customs YouTube channel for years now. We've been following along with the Murder Nova on Street Outlaws for over a decade now at this point. This is one of the most iconic names, cars, crews, teams in all of drag racing. Not just Street Outlaws, not just street racing, not just no prep racing. All of drag racing. This is one of the most popular and iconic names of all time they've been racing in no prep kings for years now every single race pulling out all the stops to make sure they can show up and race competitively every single week for no prep kings for the past couple of seasons now or since it's really become and gone and taken off they've been there they've put their all into it making upgrades and stuff in the off season building whole new cars doing all kinds of stuff to be at the very top and here they are in the finals right after they just won kind of the in quotations, main event that was on Friday night with the Great Eight. The Murder Nova has finally made it to the finals in a week where they seem to be unbeatable and unfortunately lose to Nate Saylor. I know I couldn't believe it, man. I was seeing the Murder Nova one on Grade Eight. I'm following along with the round around, seeing they go, oh my god, they won again and again and again. Then they're in the finals. I'm like, oh my god, this might actually be the race they finally win, but nope. Nate Saylor goes on to get, ah, uh, is this his second overall win? This year for No Prep Kings, oh, I might be wrong about that. That might be his third, either his second or third. I'm going to say second. I believe it's his second overall win in No Prep Kings this season, beating the Murder Nova in the finals. Congrats to Nate Saylor. Really good for him for getting that win. But man, I was really, really hoping we'd see the Murder Nova win the whole thing. Go out, win the Great Eight and the Invitational. That would have been so awesome. Unfortunately, just wasn't meant to be. In terms of the actual Invitational standings, I would like to point out that the Murder Nova is currently tied with Caleb Morton in fifth place on 230 points. So this is the Murder Nova's best season we've seen without a shadow of a doubt for No Prep Kings as we currently sit right now. And one other thing I, I, I thought to bring up, I don't think I've brought this up once really all season. I might have mentioned it in the first week or two and haven't mentioned it since, but I'll ask you guys, I'll probably bring this up in the stream tomorrow night as well. Do you guys even care about discussing the team leaderboard? Like, as we know, there's the team championship. Do you guys want me to address that? Like, honestly, as I said, I'm viewing the whoever is first in invitational point standings, that's the winner of No Prep Kings. That's how I am viewing it. Yes, that may be different than the actual No Prep Kings official individual championship, but this is how I am viewing it. I'm keeping it in relation to what has happened for all of the seasons of No Prep Kings before this. But as you know, there is the team championship. Kai Kelly's team's in first place with 950 points. Daddy Dave's team is in second with 800 50 points. Kai's in first by 100 points. I think they're going to have lock there, and Kai might have a clean sweep in No Prep Kings this year. He might get first place in the Invitational standings. He might win the Great Eight, and also to win the team championship. So Kai might be going out and smoking everyone, getting the clean sweep, winning the Triple Crown in No Prep Kings this year. So good for him if that ends up being the case. Unfortunately, it wasn't a good week for him with going out first round in the Invitational, but it was a good week for the Murder Nova, winning the Great Eight, making all the way to the finals, but it was an even better week for Nate Saylor, who ended up winning the entire thing. Next, No Prep Kings race. Let me pull it up on my schedule here. Year. We have September 29th and 30th at Maple Grove Raceway in, oh good lord, Monton, Pennsylvania. I might have that spelled wrong in my notes here. M-O-H-N-T-O-N. Monton, Pennsylvania. If anyone's from there, I do apologize. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But that is where this next No Prep Kings race will be. And that is all for this week's episode of No Prep News. I thank you all so very much for watching TTVE. Make sure you guys click that little bell, turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. All of my videos that I upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you guys tune in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, where we'll be going live here on my channel with something new I've never done before here in the live streams. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night for that. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Your reaction to this 
week for the Murder Nova, your thoughts and everything else that happened in the race in the comment section down below. If you guys like to send me stuff, address my PO box is down below in the description. But like I said, that is all. I thank you all so very much for watching TTVE. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend and are looking forward to a great week this weekend. I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TTVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all the same as XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.